What's up guys, Mark back here with yet another video and today we're going to be talking about Nikon. Yesterday, Nikon announced that it was completely canceling its DL series line of cameras and that it was going to be laying off a lot of its staff. First of all, for those of you that don't know, the DL line of cameras was announced back in February of 2016. They were basically a trio of fixed lens cameras with focal ranges of 18 to 50, 24 to 85, and 24 to 500. They were originally supposed to be dropped in June of last year. In my mind, I believe that these cameras are 100% uh, a ripoff of the Sony's RX100s and the Sony RX10s line of cameras. Uh, these literally look like they're direct competitors. But as of yesterday, they are completely abandoning this entire set. They are never coming to market because essentially Nikon and I quote, it has been decided that sales of the DL series will be canceled due to concerns regarding their profitability, considering the increase in development costs and the drop in the number of expected sales due to the slow down of the market. Yeah, the slowdown in the market for them. Now, I'm not going to sit here and toot my own horn, but then again, I am. Some of you guys may remember about two years ago, I put out a video where I was talking about how I had left Nikon and then about a month or so later, I think, I put out this long video where I was kind of explaining why uh, the Sony system was such an attractive option at the time. My thoughts on this have not changed. The whole system, the whole ecosystem of both Nikon and Canon has stagnated. It has stayed essentially the same and they thought in their mind that all of that was still going to keep going, that that gravy train was just going to keep going. Back then, they were just about the only games in town aside from some of the other brands that were not doing as well. It's one thing to get on top. It's another thing to stay on top. Canon and Nikon's model was essentially, okay, we're going to release a camera, and then instead of releasing some sort of fix via firmware, what they do is about every two years, they have a two-year release cycle, essentially, and they add small amounts of little tweaks here and there, and then re-release an entirely new camera. Okay, well, that doesn't work anymore, and I even explicitly said it two years ago. Huge selling point for me, because I am not... Uh, into that whole game anymore. I, I, I finally feel like I am free from waiting two years. Nikon uh, will probably improve two or three little things and then expect me to dump yet another $2,000 into that system. And it's just not worth it to me anymore. So much of what we do now is very much software based. The hardware across every single line, across every single camera manufacturer is essentially the same. They're using the exact same rubber, they're using the exact same metal, the exact same alloys, the exact same texture grips, the exact same, you know, optics, just to different leveling uh, or levels of varying degree. Everything else is pretty much software based, whether it be stabilization, whether it be, you know, uh, in-camera sharpening, or just there's a million different little things that they now incorporate via the software side. Um, that will either eliminate or fix a lot of the problems that most of us will encounter on the hardware side. People constantly give me shit all the time because being a professional photographer, actually earning a living from this, you know, way of life. I don't know, man. There was just that stigma a couple of years ago that if you didn't have the biggest, fattest, heaviest hunk of glass or the biggest, fattest, heaviest camera on the market, then you were just not professional. And you can watch each and every single one of those naysayers, those uppity photographers that bashed people like me and said, it's just a toy. It's no good. You would never make any money with that. You're, there's no way anyone would be uh, able to consider you a professional if you went to a client's shoot and that's what you brought. This is now becoming standard. Every single one of those photographers now has guaranteed a Sony, a Panasonic, or a Fuji in their collection now. Every single one of them. To be perfectly honest with you, I don't care what you shoot with. I don't want you to harass me about what I shoot with. I mean, most people just want to be left alone. All I know is that for the last two years, ever since I picked up the Sony a6000, my 
photography worldview has changed. But at this point, now I look more at aesthetic. Um, I look more so at how does this image make me feel? Is the color science really nice? Am I able to play around with the images and the video in post much easier? Is the bitrate high enough so that I can mess around after the fact? But assuming for just one second that if all of those professionals go out and buy a quote-unquote consumer range camera, whether it be Panasonic, Nikon, or uh, Panasonic, Sony, or Fuji, or any of these other ones, buy any of those any single one of them. You could literally buy five of them for the price of one of the Nikon and Canon flagships. They are cramming so much more into these smaller cameras now that it's no longer required to spend five, six, seven thousand dollars on a camera body. Tech is becoming disposable. That's how quick the market has moved. I'm a free market capitalist. I love competition. And as soon as someone comes out with some sort of new piece of gear, all the other camera manufacturers began to chase them. Everyone right now is on Sony's heels. And now I believe that Nikon and Canon are finally feeling the pinch. So with Nikon completely canceling their Sony ripoffs, and we gotta call a spade a spade, it is a ripoff. Every last one of those cameras were rips. They wanted to try and integrate themselves into that space, but it's just not working out for them because that's not their thing. They don't deliver the way Sony and Panasonic does. With the uh, GH5 coming out here in just about a month, and then Sony, I guarantee you, has at least one or two new cameras just around the corner, Sony and Panasonic are actually moving at twice the speed that Canon or Nikon has. Canon has befuddled us all with these horrendous video codecs, half-assed attempts at any kind of real upgrade. People are just fed up. They buy these cameras and then they see all of us guys with these consumer grade rigs and we get all these cool new features one right after another and they're wondering hey what's all the hype about maybe i'll go try, try one out maybe i'll pick one up for a little while see wh what it's all about and then that's when it happens the magic begins to fly and they all start picking up uh, these new cameras as their daily drivers um i think that old way of thinking and I've been saying this for years, the way that Nikon and Canon have been doing it for so long, those days are now over. You either compete and you give your customers what you want, or you will go the way of the dinosaur. The DSLR dinosaurs of yesteryear are on their way out. And Sony and Panasonic and companies like Fuji, they're the meteor about to crash their worldview. Because I'm telling you, if they do not adapt, if they do not actually focus on customers and what we want, they'll go out of business. Someone will buy them. Someone will buy their tech. And it will be one of these new guys that has the capital and has the extra uh, revenue that could afford all of their patents. It happens every day, folks. If you don't focus on the customer and what they want, if you're not genuinely listening and you're just sort of trickling out these features at a a snail's pace, you're, you're gone. It, it took a little longer than I thought, honestly, but you know, minds are slow to change. But once they see the results, eh, no one really cares anymore, as long as they get results. So that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Anyway, guys, thanks again for stopping here at the Photo Video Show. I'm your host, Mark Puckett, and I'll see you guys again on the next one. Peace out.